We are back here with another insanely overpowered terrarium weapon. Look at this slime right here. You see him? Gone. Now, what if we did that on some of the strongest bosses from Terraria mods? Let's check it out. Let's get to it. We got that Noxus sprayer. No damage. That's how you know it's about to be a crazy weapon when there's not even damage listed. Shoots a stream of chaos mist that vaporizes everything it touches. Kills 99.99% of lesser beings guaranteed. I wonder who the point one is, you know? Who is that little tiny percentage that will survive? Let's find out. Of course, we gotta start with the basics. I am in Inferno mode, so the basics might be a little bit less basic than they usually are. As you can see, we got the thick, girthy King Slime. Let's see if he can survive. Of course not. Why would he? As you see, there's even a little, little animation as they vanish into nothing. This should be like insanely fast. Well, we get a cutscene. My boy putting his hands in the air. He can put the hands in the air. In the void. Dungeon Guardian. You know, might as well do him. Uh, we got the Queen Bee up next. I kind of want to see what her Inferno Mode special attacks are. She just moves faster. I actually do want to... Oh my god, there's a lot of thorns. I do want to do a video soon. Checking out all the uh, vanilla bosses in Inferno Mode. Because I feel like it would just be cool to, you know, see all the new attacks and stuff. We might see a couple of them. Oh, didn't even need to hit any of the creepers. Just straight up can hit the brain itself. Uh, I probably don't need to go to another biome to do all this. So I'm not gonna. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what happens when I spawn in the eater here. Eater, my boy. Okay, he moving. He really moving. Now, here's a question. Will it get rid of him as a whole? Or will it just take a piece of his segments? Ah, look at that. Now, here's the other thing I wonder. If I hit him directly in the head. Oh, just gone. Just like that. Okay. Very interesting. Since this weapon seems pretty damn powerful, I think it only makes sense that, you know, I check out the bosses we usually skip. So, let me bring in the, uh, what is it? Magician? Dark? magician no there's Yu-Gi-Oh. dark mage bring in both of them why not and they're gone just like that vaporize let's bring in lepus and uh let's bring in that boy deer clops you know top five loudest terrier boss <laughs> already just screaming in my ears as soon as he spawns all right i want to spawn in turkor but turkor always got some extra steps i gotta take because as you can see watch this when i try and spawn in turkor where is he nowhere to be seen all right there you go now he's to be seen okay what happens if i take out his head he lives that's very interesting i want to do a little side thing here you know, this is another way to test how OP a terrarium weapon really is. Is getting rid of, not a burning spear. Where, where, where is it? Is it wheel? Ah, right here. Blazing wheel. Oh my god. You know if a weapon can get rid of blazing wheels is OP. Okay, what about this? Spike ball. Look at this. How many terrarium weapons do you see being able to kill a spike ball? Like, I could grab the ball with the Tome of Greater Manipulation, but I can't kill it. Can this kill it? Oh. Oh, it got it. I thought it survived, but no, it actually got it. Oh my God. This weapon might be entering an upper tier of strength we don't even know about. All right, let's take on, of course, the wall of flesh. What the heck is even going on? <laughs> that looks terrifying i do not want to ever encounter that queen slime you know since i'm down here let's change up the scenery for queen slime i bet she's never been down here okay she don't really feel oh there you go she came down dang she's moving what are these attacks bro this is insane i ain't, I ain't never seen half of these attacks let's go to the top i'm gonna fight dread nautilus and then duke why not oh he duke looking cool i like that he should really look like that all right, let's stop fighting random bosses before I get confused. Did I get him before he ran away? Nah, I got him that time. We got Skeletron. Oh, he moving. He really don't want to be here at day. I'm sorry. Okay, this dude, I'll make it nighttime for you. Just because I want to test the, uh, the same theory I had. Where is he? What even was that noise? Where is he? What the? Why are you all the way over here? Let's test our same theory that we did with the eater. Oh, so look at that. It's literally the same thing. So you got to hit him in the head to fully get rid of him. So let's see if I can just hit him in the head right away here. Boom. Got him. Down to the jungle. Queen Bee. Wait, no. What the hell? We already killed you. Plantera is who I meant to really see. And then the golem. What the? 
What the hell? Nah, get rid of him. <laughs> we'll save it for the video when I check out all the Inferno mode bosses. But that look insane. Martian Saucer, what's up? Let's bring you down here. I kind of want to see if I can just take out one piece. And I ain't talking about the anime. What the? Okay, interesting. We got to summon one of the most overpowered bosses in Terraria. Of course, the Torch God. Can we kill it? Yes. Uh, somehow, some way, we killed it. And uh, infinite flight granted. Thank you. See you later. She thought she was about to get off some cool attacks. Okay, let's bring in the uh, side characters, as I would call them at this point. Not a part of the main cast. Kind of the uh, special guests we're bringing in. Ooh, so just hitting one cannon completely kills this dude. Of course, we got the morning wood, the ever scream. Shoot, bring in Santa. Welcome. Shoot, bring in the real Santa. Oh, never mind. Get him out of here. And now let's bring in the king and the queen. We're getting the full cast. Uh, we still are on 1.4.3 because a lot of mods have not updated. So I can't play in 1.4.4 mod loader. Very sad, honestly. I wanted to. Believe me, I wanted to. But yeah, let's bring in Ocarum. Let's hope he spawns normally. I'm going to try and just use his regular spawner so he does. He's got a cool little noise and like intro. I don't think... Consolaria has any like interaction with Infernum, but uh, you know, he seems a little bit more intense. All right, my boy or my my boys with a S, what's up? Time to get rid of you. Can I get rid of the mysterious tablet? No, nah, that would have been funny. Okay, hold on. I think I, I gotta kill them normally. Oh, shoot, where are you going? Stay still, stay still. I bet I could kill him like that. Yep. <laughs> Look at the mysterious tablet still trying to give him his powers, but nah, get him out of here. Let us bring in the pillars. I'm going to just stack all four of them. I can't even tell which one is what. We're just, we just got one color. This light blue color. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to have to summon in the Moon Lord manually now. Because, like, technically, we're not even killing anything. We're just banishing them. Banishing them straight into the great void. Oh, my God. Get him out of here. He looked like he was about to get freaky. Okay. We're on to uh, the modded bosses. Let us start with Abyssion, of course. Do you go into another phase? Nope. Just gone. The phase he enters is the void. All right, who else do we fight from this? These three? I could probably get rid of them before they even spawn. <laughs> they don't even get a chance. What about this boss dummy? You know, this boss dummy, probably something that's damn near unkillable, right? Oh, no, you can kill it. Oh, maybe this is just used for, like, health testing. Hold up, what about the dummy? Doesn't Calamity add in like an unkillable dummy? Let's uh, let's try that. Which one? Super dummy? Yeah, this one. Well, we got a couple of them. Aggro dummy, boss dummy, healing dummy, super dummy. So we got two super dummies. Look at that. Can't kill them by normal means. Okay, I, I killed that one. That one was weak, whatever mod that one was from. But, of course, the Noxus Sprayer. Where is it? It's gone. Nothing could withstand this power. Speak about power, let's bring in the mutant. You know, the mutant got a lot of health, but he usually doesn't survive too much stuff. He's also very loud when he brings out that giant laser, but luckily we're not going to hear or see that today. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I, I think we might have a weapon that surpasses the last weapon, and the last weapon we tested was insanely strong. So the fact that... That was loud. The fact that we're about to have a weapon that passes a weapon that was already insanely strong is crazy. Whoa. This is cool. All right, he's gone. <laughs> it was cool for a second. Let's bring out uh, Providence. Oh, I'm really liking Inferno mode. I'm starting to think, no offense to anyone, but I think Inferno mode might look key be better than the default Calamity mod from what I'm seeing. This is so sick. Too bad you got to go away too. Look at the smoke effects. Oh my God, that's so cool. That almost makes me want to get tortured by Inferno mode and not get past the King Slime in a playthrough. Almost makes me. What you guys think? 10,000 likes? Nah, hell no. All right, let's bring in... Uh, I don't even know who to bring in here. I be forgetting. Thanatos? Okay, there you go. This Thanatos. And he's just like all the other worm bosses. Uh, Artemis and Apollo? Yes, sir. Both gone. And then, of course, Ares. Which one? This one? Boom very easy you know we might as well bring some more special guests and get rid of them honestly anybody can get this they can get this work supreme cow i don't even want to have to hear what you have to say get her out of here and let's get some more special guests you know because we're breezing through some of these bosses who is this argus the bereft vassal hold up cutscene 
Show me what you got, Argus. All right, see you later. I respected the little cutscene though. And then let's bring in some of the uh, champions from uh, the Fargo's mod, the masochist mode, and just turn them all into ash. See you later. That dude didn't even get a chance to get his animation over. And I think, hopefully, it's been a minute since I recorded one of these, but I think we are now moving on to, uh, you know, the S tier bosses, the final tier of bosses. Let's start with our boy himself. Of course, that being Noxus. You know, this is the weapon from his mod, so we might as well see what's up. See if his own weapon can kill him. <gasps> our first survivor? It honestly makes sense. It really does. That he would be the one to be unkillable by his own weapon. Like, he made this shit, pretty much. So, it makes sense. I'm gonna bring him into second form, though, just to make sure. Alright, let's see. No, absolutely not. Alright, congratulations! I think by, like, certain claws, he has found a way to, uh, survive. And look at that. Of course, he drops his own beautiful sprayer. So congrats. He might be the only one to survive this vicious, vicious weapon. But, like, he low-key cheated because <laughs> it's from his mod. All right. Dimensional Rift. Our boy Bill Cypher. Damn, why do you always make it dark, bro? He's acting like making it dark is not going to stop me from seeing him and killing him. All right. Let's bring in uh, Big Ek Death, of course. My favorite. Wait, do I even have the Ek Death mod installed? I don't. God damn it. All right. I installed the Ek Death mod. Let's bring in that boy, Big Ek Death. What's up, bro? I missed you. It's been a minute. Uh, but I'm going to have to kill you. And just like that, oh my god. This this might be one of those weapons, boys. This might be one of those weapons. And as you can see, just annihilating four. Is it four? Ek Death. You got Knuckles. Bill Cypher. Noxus. Four. Three out of four of them killed. But, uh, you know, Noxus kind of gets a pass because it's Noxus. It's literally his own weapon. Hey, what if I spawn in this game error? Oh, I don't see the item to spawn in. It's like question marks, and I, I typed in question marks, and nothing came up. If you guys want to see some more weapons, you got to leave the suggestions for more OP weapons. I know they're out there. Hopefully, mods update to Team Mod Loader 1.4. Uh, there's a good handful that I really have no idea if they'll ever be updated. So, we might be stuck on 1.4.3 for a while, which would kind of suck because I want to fight Medusa. Uh, I know Calamity added in a bunch of uh, secret bosses to the Zenith Seed, so that would be fun to fight item but i don't know if we're gonna ever be able to there's also a couple cool weapons i already saw on team other 1.4.4 uh, for example there's a one punch mod and i really want to do a video on that because you know one punch man like come on but yeah thank y'all for watching i'll see y'all next time